Carolyn Doobie here and today I'm playing around to make a Halloween card for a friend. With this I started with a jelly print that I made. You can see how I made this in one of my previous videos. And I'm going to bring in a stencil called Rembrandt's Words. This is vintage script of stencil that I designed over at Stencil Girl. And I've got some metallic PBO paints on there that are just going to pop against the black. Now I didn't mask anything off because frankly I'm just not that patient. I can see where the yellow of the witch is and so I'm just kind of avoiding where that is so that I don't stencil right over her. And is it going to be perfect? No. <laughs> Do I want it to be perfect? No. This has got just a very old randomy feeling to it and that really takes the pressure off of me because I don't have to do anything perfectly if I'm not trying to get an absolutely perfect look. I'm going to have more paint in some areas and less paint in others and I love that. So here's what the witch looks like. You can catch a little bit of that shimmer of that metallic there. And as long as I'm here, I might as well do the other witch too. I'm really only going to use one of the witches in the card, but why waste it all when I'm here? The paint's out. It's already on the sponge. So I'm just going to go to town and fill the rest of this in. Well, now it's time to turn it into a card. So I've got the card size and I could very precisely measure exactly the size that I want it to be. You know, measure, cut very, very precisely. Um, no, not going to. What I'm doing is eyeballing everything right now by setting the card on top of it to kind of see about where I want it to go. That's a cool strip. I'll hang on to that. It might come in handy. And so I just kind of keep eyeballing it till it's about where I want it to go. I know the top edge is going to be really straight and now one of the sides is going to be really straight. So I've got a top that's straight and a side that's straight. That gives me two places to line up the card and that's plenty for me to start with. So now what I'm going to do is just attach some double-sided adhesive. This stuff is from Xyron. And what I'm looking to do is just find a way to stick my jelly print here onto the card. Now, it's not really going to go very precisely down because, remember, I only cut two sides. I haven't, I haven't measured anything. I've been eyeballing it. So I am just going to line up the top and the one side because, frankly, that's all I can keep track of and keep it. You can see all the fiddling I'm doing with this just to even get the top and the side on there all the way. I'm just not very, well, precision oriented. So now what I can do is see on the back exactly where I need to cut to line up the other two sides. A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I used to try to measure and plan out and get everything precise. And what that led to was me being highly frustrated because I'm just not that precise. So this way I'm found I'm much happier, but there is a cost sometimes because not everything comes out perfectly. It's called an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. And the top of the card has a little bit of white showing up. So this is just an opportunity for me to add a little bit more to it. Well, all those little bits that I cut off, I'm going to use some of those to cover up where I have some white showing. So just a little bit of glue stick on there, and I'm going to take this black skinny strip and just cover that up and then trim off the edges. So all of a sudden, that's covered up. And so now comes the part where I just start fiddling with things, seeing how they look to me. I would like to tell you that I know all of the proper terms, all of the deep philosophical reasons why I like that piece right there but I don't know those. I just know that I like it there. And since I like it there, I'm going to glue it there. And so now I want some more yellow on there. I like that yellow strip on the bottom. I'm feeling the need for more yellow. So I didn't have the exact scrap that I wanted. So I'm just going to make a scrap by cutting it off that other piece. And as I fiddle around with this and play with it and get it just so, once I think I'm happy with it, I'm going to glue it down. Now, does this mean that it is set in stone? It must be this way? No. It absolutely does not mean that because I never glued it down because it turns out I didn't really like it. But I wanted to write on that right there. So I grabbed a China marker, China pencil, whatever you call them. And I wrote Happy Halloween on it. And you know what? I absolutely hated that. So I went over it with a Stabilo pencil to see if that helped it. And I still totally hated that. But never fear, even though I really didn't like the look of it, it's just an oops. That means it's an opportunity for me to add another layer to it. So I just put some black acrylic paint right back on top of it and I'm ready to go. And once again, the oops comes through for me because if I hadn't made that oops there, I never would have gotten to this part. And this is where I decided to add a little bit of ribbon embellishment. So I've got some seam binding in black here and because it's black, it makes it really hard to see. But I'm kind of just sort of scrunching it up on top of itself to make sort of this sort of 
ribbony, bubbly, what do you call it, ruffly thing there. I don't know. I don't know the proper names of bows, but it's this thing. And of course, as I'm doing this and I'm putting those little bits of tape to hold the end down, the thing is like sticking straight up and not quite what I was looking for. But never fear, I can fix that because it's just an oops. And here you can see how it's just totally sticking up and in person it just looks kind of eh. But never fear, that's what tacky glue is for. So I am just going to go in with a little squirt of tacky glue inside each one of the loops here on my ruffly bowy thing. And then I am just going to push it down and that will hold it all down in place. It's going to look awesome. Now I wanted to add something up on the top to balance it out. So I'm just going to take a piece of that ribbon right there and I'm going to glue it right on top. Actually, I'm not going to glue it. I'm going to tape it with some double-sided tape there. And now, thanks to a whole bunch of oopses, this card is finished. Well, the card's finished, but what now? Well, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com, and you can see the blog post with this, as well as everything else that I'm up to, including my free newsletter, which has videos and downloadable goodies that are not available anywhere else other than in the newsletter. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.